Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Everhart. This is the first time I'm trying to uh, do something new with Mrs. Stein. I am going to give you some directions on how to paint an Easter egg with sweetened condensed milk. So some of the items that you'll need at home would be a piece of white paper and you just draw an egg with any kind of design that you want on there with a marker. Then you get some food coloring. You either maybe have this at home or you have something like this at home. Either of those will do. You're gonna need some sweetened condensed milk, very little bit of that, and you're gonna need some little tiny little cups. Any kind of cup will do, because you're only gonna put a tiny little bit of sweetened condensed milk and food coloring in there to paint your egg. So I used a variety of different uh, shapes of clear bowls so that whatever you might have available will work. So what you do is you take your food coloring and you pour a couple of, you, you put in a couple of little drops in each container that has some sweetened condensed milk in. So I did red already before we came to the video, but I will do orange or yellow in front of you right now. Just a couple of drops, one, two, three. And so now I have a red and an orange. I have left here a blue. One, two, three. And the last color in my selection is green. So I will do that in my last container, which is like an ice cream cup. All right. so. The next thing you want to do is you're going to want to take some, a toothpick. I'm sure a lot of you have these at home and you just stir the color into the sweetened condensed milk. So there's our red, a brand new toothpick to stir our blue around. Can you see how it colors up the condensed milk? Okay. Can you see how lovely that is? That's terrific. The next color with a new toothpick is yellow. See how that's coming to life there? That's wonderful. We're just stirring that color in. And the last color, does anybody remember what the last color we used? That's right, it was green. So we're stirring that around. Wow, look how vibrant that is. Can you see that green? That is beautiful. Look at that. Woo, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Next thing you're going to need, and these are all washable, these paints or these uh, colors, so don't feel, don't get nervous if you have to use a uh, piece of silverware at home. If you have plastic spoons, that works too, but I, I tested this out and you can use just a regular spoon. So you're going to take a little spoon, I'm going to go right for the green right now, and I'm going to get some on my spoon, and I'm going to drop it on my egg. Can you see that, boys and girls? Dropping it on my egg and I'm painting my spot here, the top of the egg, green. I'm staying at the top with the green. You can use the flat under your spoon and color that in. Very nice. I might have to go back for just a little bit more green. Spread that in. So that's how that looks. Top of my egg. Very cool. All right, what color would we like to use for this next part? <gasps> I think yellow works great. So I'm gonna get another spoon, fresh spoon. I'm not gonna mix my colors, although that would be kind of cool. I might do that later. And I'm just gonna paint this next part of my egg. I'm gonna paint that yellow. I just wanna tell you that you can't see this through the video, but once you do it, you'll realize this is a very interesting, sticky, kind of thick texture. It's not like anything that I've ever used. So this is new for Mrs. Everhart and I like it. There's my yellow, woo, very, very cool. What color we're gonna use for the band? All right, I like that idea. We're gonna use a little blue, love that. So we're gonna go into the Little, little bowl here that has blue. I'm gonna scoop some out onto my egg. I'm just gonna like spread it around. 
like so. Can you see what Mrs. Everhart's doing? She's just kind of coloring it in. I can't really put this up on an easel like some of the other crafts that I've done with you guys in caps because this is really messy. And you know, I like to clean, but I don't want to create a un... This would just be dripping all over my surface. So I think this would be best if you guys did this at home on a flat surface. That's why I was kind of showing you the example on a flat surface myself. All right, so this is how the blue comes out. All right, and the last band. Well, the only color we haven't used yet, boys and girls, is red. So we're gonna use red. Red on this last band. Oh, I love this red. It's really vibrant. Look how vibrant that red is. I love it. That's like a pinkish orangey red. I love this color. Very cool. Okay, so as you noticed, we have some other uncolored areas of the egg. What do you suggest we do with that? Well, we have the bottom of the egg needs a color and the center of the egg needs a color. So what do you say we try to experiment on the bottom here and we put some colors together? Let's put uh, green and yellow together and let's see what we get at the bottom. So I'm gonna take a little green. We'll swirl it around a little bit in that circle, or that oval, and then I'm going to just go into my bowl that has yellow, and I'm going to mix it in with the green, and we get like a whole nother kind of color. It's like more lime green, more like the green of new leaves that are coming out on some of the trees right now, so I'm going to show you how that turned out. What do you think of that? That's a totally new color that we don't have. And if you'll notice, as I keep picking the stuff up to show you boys and girls, some of my colors are bleeding. That's wonderful. That's an extra added plus of this. So let's go in here and do some red. This other open space here at the bottom. Let's put some red here and see what happens. Maybe it'll bleed into the blue. Maybe it'll bleed into the yellow. I don't know. We're just going to have to look and see what happens, okay? Let's get some more red. There we go. All right, we got some red. I'm coloring that in nicely. Now I'm coming over to this area here. What do we think of that? Oh, I see some blue bleeding in here. So that's kind of neat. So there's that. And last, let's put some, hmm, I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave that white. I don't know. What do you want to do there? You want to put a mix of colors there? Let's little, do a little bit of everything. All right. Sounds like a plan. Let's do a little blue there. Na, na, na. I like to sing while I create. And let's do a little yellow in there. Oh, I'm getting a funky green there. Okay, and I am going to take some green because I do have some left. Put that over here. And we're getting like a marbleized texture here. This is kind of neat. I have decided to use the back of my spoon to get like a different feel while I'm painting. And there's that piece. So there it is. There is my colored egg on cardstock using sweetened condensed milk and food coloring. I hope you take some time over the, over the break to try to experiment with this and maybe you can send me an email of your creation. Happy Easter and happy, happy egg painting. Bye-bye.